Welcome back to the hang gliding files. Today we're going to talk about the basic controls of a hang glider. This video will go over how you can control a hang glider in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm going to assume that you have downloaded and installed the widget. Before we get started, let's talk about how the glider flies. This video is about flying and controlling a flex wing aircraft. Before we set up controls, you need to understand what it is that you are controlling. A flex wing glider is controlled by changing the center of gravity of the entire vehicle. It does not use control surfaces per se. The pilot, the pilot has at least a 2 to 1 weight advantage over the aircraft itself. Therefore, wherever the pilot's weight is, is the deciding factor and where the center of gravity of the aircraft is. Move the weight forward, the nose drops. Move the weight backwards, the nose rises. Move the weight left or right, and you turn left or right. Those are your only controls. We do this using the control bar. The control bar helps the pilot move his weight around, and yes, the pilot is the control stick of the aircraft. The control bar never moves. Some gliders have wheels on the control bar, but most don't. You do not normally launch or land on the wheels, but you can. They are mostly there to protect the control bar in case of a bad landing. The control bar has some buttons on it that you can convert, connect to use some functions, such as variometer position on and off, the wheel type on and off, and a camera on off. This simulator has no functions that map to anything a hang glider does directly. It has no control surfaces. It has no control stick or yoke. It has no wheels, and it has no flaps or spoilers. It has no landing gear. It has no motor or standard means of propulsion on the ground. It has no way to dynamically change its center of gravity. It has no way to change the eye position of the pilot. Remember, the pilot is moving, not the aircraft. In all other aircraft, the aircraft or parts of the aircraft move, and the pilot position never changes. So basically what we're trying to do here is impossible. Moving your controller left and right uh, will activate the roll, just like using ailerons on a normal um, controller configuration. Also, using the uh, forward and back on the control stick simulates uh, elevator movement. Standard rudder controls also simulate the yaw control in this glider. The pilot also represents the spoilers. These are devices that are meant to change glide slope by adding drag to or removing drag from the lift drag equation. In other words, it is a way to degrade performance to make the glider come down faster yet fly slower. It helps us to land. The pilot also represents both the gear and the wheels. The gear is represented by the pilot exposing his feet and if he is standing upright or if the glider is on the ground. Aircraft do not normally lower their gear while on the ground, but with a hang glider it is the only place it is done. As for wheels, that is your feet. The feet move in relation to the rotation of the wheels. This is not the best, but it is what I have to work with. And one last maneuver is the flare, and that is when you move uh, all your weight completely back and you go to a complete stop when you land. Timing is critical when using this feature, but it is a function of flying a hang glider and it helps you land. And that's not a very good flare. Well then there is the function I call the Wireman Launch, and what that is is the one click of the launch key when you're sitting on launch will fix you in place but let the glider continue to fly. This allows you to stabilize the glider while it's in the wind until you're ready to fly, it, and then you click the launch button multiple times after that to accelerate off of launch. And this is an example of using the launch key multiple times on flat ground or on uh, just the launch site as a means of acceleration. 
Well, let's go over all how I have my controller set up. It's just a quick look at my setup. I have a joystick, a throttle, a game controller, a mouse, a keyboard, head tracking, and a VR controller. I will not go over all of that, just the basics. This video is to explain what needs to be configured. It is up to you to do that however you want. My advice is to start with a sailplane configuration and modify that as necessary. Most people will be flying with just normal view controls, and this is you just looking straight out through the wires and an ability to change your view to look at like side to side, down, at the variometer, and real simple view management. Uh, to do this correctly and easily, because you have to do this a lot in hang gliding, you need to configure your um, cockpit view ma uh, mappings and your uh, instrument view mappings to get some ability to look around while you're flying. When flying a hang glider, it means you have to look around, you have to change your point of view. You have to look uh, up, down, side to side, judge your altitude, bank angles, traffic, altitude, everything. The easiest way I have found to do this is to fly in VR mode. This is by far my preferred method of flying a hang glider, it's very natural. The other method is using a head tracker, and it is an excellent second choice. Well, that's it for today's instructional video. Like and subscribe if you like it, and we'll see you out on the hill.